is there's a lot of humility and vulnerability in hospice. And so you see people really open up. You see them being vulnerable. And when they're vulnerable, I allow myself to be vulnerable with them. Every single person that I talked to that was in hospice always recommended it. You know, they just always said, you'll love it. You'll absolutely love it. So normally I have anywhere from 10 to 20 patients at a time. Ideally, you have at least 20 visits a week. My name is Sarah Smed. I am a nurse case manager with Corso Care Hospice. I was so thrilled to be back at MSU. It was fun. I kind of feel like my first time through, I was just young and didn't know what I was going to do. And so this just felt really cool to be back as a Spartan. And then the program was just such a great fit. Each class, each day, everything, you just felt more and more like, yep, this is where I'm supposed to be. Being a hospice nurse is kind of finding out where they're at physically. My basic first interaction with the patient is, how do you feel right now? I mean, a lot of people interpret that many ways. And so it's me kind of meeting them where they're at or me just saying, what do you understand about your condition? What do you understand what's going on? And so that way I can see where they're at and see where those gaps are. Saying directly to the patient when we were one-on-one, -on -one, do you understand that you're near the end of your life? You know, this is kind of your last chapter. Do you understand that? And most of them would just kind of look and, you know, some are just, oh yeah, I, I know. And it's like, and how does that make you feel? And then from there, they kind of open up and you get that vulnerability and you get great stories. So I think the stories are the best part. We don't celebrate the end of our life the way we do celebrate the beginning of our life. We celebrate the beginning of our life, we celebrate the anniversary of every year of our life, but we don't celebrate the end of our life. And that's just really sad.